everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Now for today's lesson, um, what we're going to do is practice recognizing our numbers, our numbers one to five. Now this is something that we would do every day in the nursery. Uh, so what you could do is either write the numbers on some paper or um, you can do something a little bit more fun like trying to hang up some washing. So I've put a washing line up here with some pegs on it. Um, and there's a couple things you could do to uh, make some clothes that could be hung up here. You can either use your own clothes and tape some numbers on them, or you can print off some numbers from online that already have, or clothes that already have numbers on them, like this. Or you could make some with a, a cereal box. That's what I did. I just took a cereal box and I cut out some shapes that look like clothes, decorated them, and wrote some numbers on them. So there's a couple things you could do. And if you want, if you do make your own or print some, you can always laminate them if you have a laminator. And make sure you cut so there's quite a bit of an edge and you can actually pretend to wash them in uh, some water with some soap and then hang them if you like just to get that extra bit of fun. Uh, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up a number and see if you can tell me which number that one is. All right, so here we go. Let's try. Let's do an easy one to start off with. All right, who, who can tell me which number this one is? You're right. It is number one. Number one. Can you show me with your finger? Number one. And then I'm going to peg it right on to my washing line, just like that. Now let's see, let's do a different number here. Oh, can you tell me what number this one is? You're right, it is number three. Can you show me with your fingers what three looks like? One, two, three. Well done. Now I'm gonna peg it here next to number one. So I've got a one and a three. Ooh. Let's see who can tell me what number this one is. You're right, that is number four. Number four. Number four. Can you show me with your fingers what number four looks like? One, two, three, four. Number four. Okay, one way, and then I'm going to peg it next to our number three. I've got one three, and four. Ooh. Who can tell me what number that one is? <laughs> You're right, that is number two. You guys know that one really well. Number two. There we go. Next to our number four, we've got one, three, four, and two. And our last number who can tell me what that one is? You're right, that is number five. Can you show me with your fingers? Five. Well done. We know that one really well with our fingers. There we go. So I've got number one, three, four, two, and five. Now, moms and dads, or grandparents, aunts or uncles, what you can do is practice just recognizing the numbers one to five and if you want after your child is really good at recognizing those numbers you can start adding on some of the other numbers like six seven eight nine and ten uh, but only add one number at a time um, quite a few children know most of the numbers to ten but it's good just to keep practicing every day or every other day if you can thank you for joining me today